Okay, it's Shay Seeking again, and we're back with um, the book of Psalms. And well, in here it says Psalm, <laughs> uh, but I'm uh, in Psalm uh, 52, and we're going to keep on going. And I think this is the second part, the last video that I'll be doing for today. And again, let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> so it says, um, why dost thou boast, O mighty, of mischief and of ill? Then it says, man. Uh, let's see. The goodness of Almighty God endureth ever still. Okay, so this is talking about the goodness of the Almighty God. And again, it's so funny because it, it, you have to slow down sometimes when it's saying who we're talking about. Because if we were all, if we were talking about the same god every single time for the same people every single time then we would use the same term i would think or somebody either changed it to be deceptive to give a, you a false perception of something that's why i'm saying it's not so much the titles it's it's almost all about the energy and frequency and these particular things that are keep taking us into a different time where it's all it's it's kind of about your temple ye being gods and ye going to a most high version of thyself in order to connect to a higher power or source right so um again but the words are inspiring and the words can also show you things that have been going on on your journey to help you understand where you're going you know what i'm saying where we've been as a people it's something that's just kind of like connects you to this endless universal type of growing light because again, everybody would be at a different level with it. But, you know, this is just what I'm feeling. <laughs> this is what I'm feeling. I'm, you know, this is what I'm feeling in, on my journey within my growth, right? Just trying to, you know, <laughs> get people into the fact that you don't, we don't have to be afraid or get upset when people mention things about the Bible because everybody's different. And some people have been. This is why, again, it's about finding your soul, siblings or tribe, the people that feed or nourish just that, you know, that help nourish that part or just a level of understanding. And you guys are kind of like on one accord with with what's going on. So anyways, that was a lot. <laughs> Let's get back into it. <clears throat> so. Um, yeah, so thy tongue doth slander mischievous uh, devise most cunningly like to a razor sharp to cut it works deceitfully I'll more than good and more than truth thou lovest speaking wrong thou loveth all devouring words O oh, thou deceitful tongue so God shall thee destroy for air remove thee pluck thee out quite from thine house and from thy the land of thy life, he shall uh, the root. Okay, the righteous shall see it in fear, and laugh at him. They shall low. This man is. Wait, this the man is that did not make God his strength at all. But he in his abundant wealth, his confidence did place he also to himself took strength from his own wickedness but i within the house of god am like a olive green my confidence forever hath upon god's mercy been and i forever will thee praise because thou hast done this on thy name will wait for good before thy saints it is Okay. Mm. We're going to keep on going in 52. Oh my goodness. Am I repeating myself? I'm sorry, y'all. These words are so small in this book. And I'm trying to really focus, but... Okay. Okay, let's just keep going. I'll just have to chop it up later. Mighty man, why boast in sin? Forever merciful is God. Thy tongue is like a razor king devising wrong and working fraud. Yea, more than good, 
thou lovest wrong, lies more than truth, thy lips employ. O oh, thou deceitful, lying tongue, thou lovest words that life destroys. So God shall thee destroy of, uh, destroy for a, uh, a, okay, and pluck thee from thy dwelling place. The Lord shall thee remove away. The Lord shall thee remove away, and from the earth thy name erase. The godly see his ruined state. And fearing, they shall laugh and say, Behold the man of boasting great, who would not make the Lord his stay, but placed his confidence in gold, and wealth increased to ample store. In wickedness he grew more bold, and sin increased yet more and more. But I, within God's holy place, am like a fruitful olive tree. My trust on God's abundant grace shall ever and forever be. Thy praise I ever will proclaim, because, O Lord, thou hast done this, and I will wait upon thy name, for God before thy saints it is. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead in 53, and I think this is going to be it. Okay, it says um, that there is not a God, a fool doth in his heart conclude. They are corrupt, their wicked works are vile, not one of them doth good. The Lord upon the sons of men from heaven looked abroad to see if any one were wise and seeking after God. They all together filthy are. They all are backward gone. And there is none that doeth good. No, not so much as one. These workers of iniquity, do they not know at all that they my people eat as bread? On good, no, um, apologies, on God they do not call. Even there they were afraid and stood with trembling, all dismayed, whereas they, there was no cause at all why they should be afraid. You know, this is kind of funny because this is reminding me of a lot of headlines that I was reading about, you know, different um, people in the, uh, mainstream media that are feeling some kind of way, you know, and I kind of noticed this too when I I peeked in to look at a couple of reports. I think about like the little the weather and stuff that's been the mysterious weather that's been going on, right? And you know that that smirk, that smile that they had on their faces, that you know, and, and it's funny because we can weigh it this way, right? Because when we we're when they were talking about these things that were going on with the thing that's been going on, it just seems like even when they were supposed to be looking sad about it you know how that goes right the theatrics behind uh mainstream media right so <laughs> even when it seems like it should have been a sad situation these people didn't look that way at all they were always smiling and cheesing and so happy when you know things that you know don't sit right with you about what they plan to do with us go the other way you see what i'm saying <laughs> um and now when all of this stuff is coming you can see the real fear uh, I think there was like a, it was a uh, something I ran across on YouTube that had like three of the news anchors that was crying or looking all salty or whatever. So, I mean, you know, because we are in these times. So again, regardless, regardless that we want to know it or think it or see it or not, regardless if you believe that there is a higher power or a creator or whatever you want to source, God, whatever you want to call the <laughs> all, you know what I'm saying? That's up to you. But we all know that the ancestors, the, you know, again, everybody has their own way, but I, I just feel as though everybody knows what it is, basically, okay? We know that there's something going on. There's a transformation or a new creation going on, a new altar, something going on on this plane, right? Okay? So, let's see. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try not to go off again, but, uh, okay, so even there they were afraid and stood with trembling, all dismayed, whereas there, uh, there was no cause at all why they should be afraid, for God, his bones that the besiege has 
scattered all abroad. Thou hast uh, confounded them because they are despised of God. Let Israel help from Zion come. When back the Lord shall bring his captives, Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall sing. That there is, okay, and then it says here in 53 SM, uh, that there is no not a God, fools in their heart conclude, corrupt they are, their works are vile, no one of them doeth good. Upon the son of men, God looked from heaven abroad to see if any understood, if any sought for God, together all are vile, they all aside are gone, and there is none that doeth good. No, not so much as one. So again, <laughs> it's deep, you know, um, it's deep. These men of wicked works, do they not know at all? My people, they devour like bread on God. They do not call. Great terror on them came, and they were much dismayed, although there was no cause why they should be at all afraid. Again, even I have gone through these type of things of, you know, just having some kind of anxious, like a, a uneasy feeling or something for, you know, a matter of time here and there. You know, um, I, I feel like um, it was something that, uh, like a tribulation or something that I had to go through in order to come out on the other side. But again, it doesn't matter what, you know, I, I 